America is in the throes of some woke slumber. What is woke about it? Nothing. It's a slumber, a deep slumber into value systems that are pulling down these great civilizations of the West. I've heard that um, around the world, many young people are now um, cutting themselves and the rate of suicides is increasing all across the world for young people. For me also in my past, I also had those intentions as a kid, but now I'm here, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm wondering why is this attack on youth um, happening on the world? It is true that around the world, and especially in the cities and in the westernized cities, that youngsters are starting to cut themselves, and it's a pandemic of cutting. It used to be a few cases. Now they just take a knife and they start cutting themselves. They bleed, they cut themselves again, they bleed. And this goes on, sometimes for years. Sometimes their whole body is full of cuts. The fundamental ground for this happening is because they don't feel themselves anymore. And the reason they don't feel themselves anymore is because the consciousness has contracted. It is no more present in the material body. It is no more present in the materiality of the body. It has contracted into the emotional and into the conceptual. And then it slowly contracts even more, only into the conceptual. They hardly feel any emotions even anymore. The cutting is an attempt to start to feel themselves again. And the reason why this is happening is because the ego has become so big the ahankar has grown to such gigantic proportions because it is supported by society. Society wants the ahankar to be big because when the ahankar is big, the desires are big. When the desires are big, society can feed those desires and grow in wealth. So people are taught more and more to think of themselves only, what they can get out of situations, what is my takeaway, this is mine, this is my room, these are my toys, this is mine, mine, me, my, 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 my. That's how the children are raised. And at one point, the ego just grows that big that they have no connection anymore with, with the materiality because the ego will grow, the consciousness will contract. So they're very conceptual, very mental, very depressed in the thinking and continuously feeding the idea of me, myself and I. The way to combat this evil that is taking over the world is to train those children in very hard circumstances to take up seva. They can take up seva in their local institutions, churches, temples, mosques, whatever, but they have to take up seva because if they train themselves to give without an expectation to receive, only then is there any hope that the consciousness will expand and so this ego will contract. When the ego contracts, the consciousness expands and they start to feel themselves again. And then the cutting will stop. It is not an easy route because a person like that is so focused on what they want, what they desire, what they expect, 
what they opinionate, what they yearn for, what they long for. It's so much focus on that, that to switch and to move into surrender to the source and to go into a mode of giving is very challenging. So this evil has to be approached with the idea strictly of an extreme regimen, boot camp of seva and surrender. Like soldiers, they have to be woken up in the morning, they have to be given seva to do through the day, social service, spiritual service, whatever the institution is, meals on time, no chance to buy anything, no chance to feed any of those desires. And after a few months, the change starts. And it can take some time, but there is no other way that is known here. War footing, on a war footing. Not only are they cutting themselves, they are going in for sex change surgeries at 14 and 15. Thousands of young women's breasts cut off. It's the ego, it has grown to proportions that are no more tenable in a society. It is the beginning of the end of those societies. And it is time to wake up and stop it. In America, in Europe. And how would this be done globally? Um. If it is done in America, it will move to the rest of the world. If it is done in America, if it is done in England, it will move to the rest of the world. Anyone who is cutting themselves is doing it because they don't feel the materiality of their body anymore, because the ego has grown beyond any tolerable, acceptable proportions. So the, the way is to reverse that and reduce the ego and increase, expand the consciousness and then they start feeling themselves again and then they don't cut anymore. But uh, I guess many parents are challenged with those kids who are, will not do what you tell them to do. Yes, that is the failure of our society in the West. Mm. We have failed in America, we have failed in Europe. We have failed to maintain coherence in our cultures there. And we are exporting our incoherence to the rest of the world. It is time to sit up and wake up and take these things in hand and take a very tough stand with our children. Buy them as little as possible. No presents, all presents. No giving them objects, give them time with yourself. And how can children be made strong in the world to withstand all these influences like peer pressure and music videos? And tough, things? tough, tough stands. No devices till they are at least 14 or 16 or 18. Half of Silicon Valley doesn't give their children the very devices that they have created. They don't have iPads, they don't have iPhones at the age of 8 and 9 and 10. They don't let their children go on TikTok and on, and on WhatsApp. Why are we doing that with our children? Strict, very, very tough line. No devices, no devices, no devices. Nothing, no devices. Till the age of 14, 16, there are many of these Silicon Valley bosses mafiosi that they are, they don't give their children th these devices till they are even 18. Can you even imagine? 
and they are selling the same thing to the rest of the world. It's okay, devices are great, it's, it's amazing to work with them, but not to children. No devices, very few presents, keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it simple. Don't give in to their demands. Show them how to feel the soul within. Show them how to give to the other. Don't give them any sugar. No sugar, no devices. No sugar, no devices. There is still hope, but it's very slim. It is the beginning of the end of a civilization. Europe is dying, America is dying because of the greed of a few greedy capital holders. I'm not saying discard everything, I'm saying embrace the world, be here and now, be present, embrace the world, use what Mother Earth is giving us, but not in this way, not at the detriment of our children. Look at those corrupt people who are pushing gender issues just so that the medical fraternity can make its money by these operations and by all the medical paraphernalia that goes with it. Over a lifetime, they can sell them medicines and hormones and and things like that, and surgeries, and how can they do this to children? What is this evil behind it? People are asking, nobody is listening. America is in the throes of some woke slumber. What is woke about it? Nothing. It's a slumber, a deep slumber into value systems that are pulling down these great civilizations of the West. The beginning of the end, if they don't wake up. And they export that all over the world. So you take care of your child. Don't give them sugar. Don't give them devices. Don't give them devices. All your friends, everybody you know. Tell them about this. Ask them to read up. Give them the strength to stop this with their own children. Whatever the child says, no is no. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. It's much heavier than you even can imagine. So, what can a spiritual seeker do? So, I guess my step is to come down to, um, more into this world and others can be um, the living truth that you are what can be done by spiritual seekers everyone can live from the truth if one person can everyone can this is not some elitist uh, path <coughs> every single person has the truth within them the Antar Guru is there, it is really there, and you can find it, you can move into that state of surrender. Everyone can do it. It's not enlightenment that only some masters have. And everyone has to look after them after that. Sheshadri Swamigal, who is the, the Mahan of this ashram, he had to look after uh, Ramana Marshi because Ramana was in enlightenment, he couldn't look after his body. Is this what we want the whole world to be? I don't think so. If no. there hadn't been a Sheshadri Swamigal, there would not be a Ramana. Yes. And every single human being knows already what this impulse is. They know it already because when they are babies, they live from that impulse. This idea of me, myself, and I, and me, and my things, and my room and my toys and my car and my this and my that, it has to change to our. That is how the children are raised here. They're quite okay. 
They don't have so much of this I, me, and my. They do, of course, they fight and they want things and this and that. But one doll in a year, and it becomes the, the huge event of the century. That is how it has to be. Every day it is keeping that child in line, fearlessly, tough, love. And the spiritual seeker moves into surrender and serves the world through that state of surrender as an instrument of the truth. When you move into your truth, when you start aligning, when you refuse the ego and you start operating as an instrument of that truth, you serve everyone around you. You are the source of the inspiration to the people around you. They gather towards you because they receive the inspiration, because they know that you understand them, that you are compassionate. How can you be compassionate if you don't tune in to the Antarguru, to the truth within yourself? The more self-realized, the more you serve the other. Your neighbor, your mother, your family members, your friend, the people you go to school with, all around you is served that way. It's service, bending, giving, giving, bending, giving. In your case, once you start to reintegrate and you're fully integrated, that will be the next step. You can't really know now what is the truth and what is the ego because of that reason that you're not integrated, you have been out of the system too much. As you integrate, gradually you will know that. And then you act in that surrender and then see what happens around you. Watch it happening. Every person sitting here. It will be all right, it will take a little bit of time and Everything will settle down, it will fall into place.